Hello, Ceramic One parents. My name is Miss Osborne. A little bit about me. I've been a teacher at Fishers High School since 2006. I teach Ceramics 1, 2, 3, Sculpture, AP Studio Art, and AP Art History. I am also the Visual Arts Department Chair. The essential learning outcomes for your student this semester in Ceramic 1 will apply different ceramic processes and workflow. They will work on their planning skills, demonstrate their understanding of the stages of clay and firing, demonstrate their understanding and application of the elements and principles of art, demonstrate their understanding of wedging, hand building, coiling, pinch, slab, and modeling. They will learn and apply basic surface techniques. We will explore glazing and underglaze, as well as documenting, experimenting, revising, and producing. For performing and creating, your student will design and construct original works of ceramic arts. They will use clay to develop skills in basic hand building, slab method, and using finishing techniques such as surface treatments and glazes. They will use appropriate tools and techniques to produce variations of pinch, coil, slab, and sculpted forms. They will acquire and continue to apply vocabulary of clay usage and properties. And I encourage them to set, pursue, and adjust their art making goals by recognizing and judging new possibilities as they emerge. Your student will have a lot of freedom within the parameters of my assignment. Like their other courses, Canvas is our learning management system. Students are expected to check their Canvas daily for agendas, links, resources, examples, and assignments. The submission of their work and rubrics are located on Canvas. Links in the daily agenda and all of our content will be linked to our homepage. I provide videos, demonstrations, review guides, etc. Grading is the same scale as Fishers High School. All rubrics will be posted to Canvas. Your student will see how and why they scored the way they did. Students will be expected to photograph their finished work and upload and post to Canvas. Phones will probably be needed. If your student does not have a phone, I will lend them mine and then email them their final pictures. After Ceramics 1, students can progress to Ceramics 2 and Ceramics 3. Our final exam consists of three components, multiple choice questions, a short essay, and creating a digital portfolio of their finished pieces. Our department lake work policy is pretty simple. Your student will have three class days after the due date to submit to receive full credit. If a student is absent, they are expected to look at Canvas for what was missed. Eventually, a zero will be applied in Skyward. Once a student does submit missing work, it will be graded and the grade will take place of the zero. However, project submissions will lock at the nine weeks. Targeted instruction is a wonderful resource for our art students. They can come in for extra time. They can make up time possibly that was missed due to an absence or come in to make up a missing um, or a missed quiz. So what will they be making? Your student will be making fine art and bringing it home to show you this semester. We are starting with a relief tile. They will do a coil construction, a slab sculpture, sculpture, and apply different techniques and glazing along the way. Here are some former student examples. With each project, students will have a wide variety of choice. All of these examples are slab built but as you can see, students have chosen different forms, different scales, and obviously different glazes. We've done slab houses, slab boxes, slab sculptures. I've done clocks, I've done lamps. So I will offer your students a variety of options. We will do a coil construction. Students will extrude coils and then use them to build a vessel or a sculpture. 
You're beginning the semester with tile construction, so ask your student about their tile composition. They will be working on a slab of clay using tools and clay to build up and carve into the clay, and then applying underglaze to work with a cohesive color scheme. This is a very successful project for all levels of students. Please contact me with any questions, concerns, um, topics, ideas. You can email me at josborne at hse.k12.in.us. I'm so excited that your students have chosen to take ceramics. I love clay and I hope to teach them um, to value or love it as much as I do. I'm excited to see what they produce this semester.